Let's begin with the models. As phones have grown larger over the years, Apple took the opposite approach by launching another small phone, the mini iPhone. In 2021, it was great for iPhone users who prefer smaller devices. Many were excited to use this version of the phone. This is the one that's been most interesting to me personally. Apple even made a special purple edition for the mini version, but the device had just 3% of US iPhone sales. The main reason for this is because of a few factors, such as the poor screen brightness and phone overheating, as well as the battery problem. Apple solved some of the issues iPhone 12 mini is facing in iPhone 13 mini, with improved battery life and a better screen. Unfortunately, the sales share did not show any improvement. Even the accessories companies were not interested to make accessories for mini models, which lead Apple to decide to discontinue the iPhone mini and focus on the iPhone SE series of budget smartphones. Do you think it is a smart move from Apple? At the same time, Apple will introduce iPhone 14 Max, which will allow you now to choose a bigger standard iPhone 14 model. This change reflects Apple's strategy shift from targeting small screen markets to focusing on big ones. The iPhone 14 will have a new front-facing camera setup with what they're calling the pill and haul that will take up less space on the screen, making the display seem bigger. The non-pro model will still have the notch, while the pro models will not. This will be one of the main ways to tell the difference between the two models at a glance. The pro models also have slimmer battery will look like an iPhone 12 crossed with an iPhone 4 in that it'll stick with flat edges. On the side of the device, hold switch is still there. The volume buttons are so slightly different in dimension and the device is a bit thicker than the 13 model overall. There will be midnight, starlight, with the current blue being swapped out for a lighter sky blue and a new purple option coming in. A leak from Shadow Leak claims that the iPhone 14 will have a 6.1-inch display and the iPhone 14 Max with having a 6.68-inch panel. That's the same as the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro Max. The thing is though, the Pro models could be getting slightly larger because of new bezels. The standard iPhone 14 models are tipped to get a 90 HD refresh rate display. That's not quite the snappy 120 HD refresh rate we'd like to see, but it would be a notable improvement over a 60 HD panel. However, the iPhone 14 Max is tipped to get a 120 HD refresh rate display. LG will apparently be the screen maker in this case. Cameras. The back panel is where we see the most significant change and it's also the most controversial one. The camera unit group gets bigger. There's a new larger sensor. The camera is much improved with a larger aperture to let in more light. Apple analyst Ming Chai Kuo claims that a 48 MP main sensor for the iPhone 14 Pro models would be a big jump from the 12 megapixel camera on the iPhone 13. Trend Force, a Taiwanese research firm, backs up the 48 megapixel main camera rumor, suggesting that megapixels matter once more to Apple at least when it comes to the company's pro phones. The difference is very small, but it may allow for better pictures or videos to be taken with the device. The great camera gets bigger, from 38.75 millimeters to 40 millimeters. The new camera on the iPhone 14 is housed in a square that takes up a bit more space than the one on the iPhone 13. So the whole thing's got to grow in order to accommodate this new setup and the potential advantages that come with it. iPhone 14 will use the version of the A15 Bionic chipset that powers this year's iPhone 13 Pro models. The new A16 Bionic chip will be exclusive to the Pro and Pro Max. The phone will still have a lighting port. The battery capacities of the iPhone 14 family show that all models except the iPhone 14 Pro Max will be getting a slight increase in size. The 14 Pro Max is in fact shrinking a little, but hopefully not enough to impact the phone's overall battery life. Apple tends to find a price point and stick to it for a few years. Market trends and currency rates can sometimes affect iPhone pricing, 
but it is rare to see a drastic price change. Meanwhile, reliable Leaker Leaks Apple Pro has claimed three of the four iPhone 14 models are tipped for a price hike. The standard iPhone 14 is expected to stick at $799, and the new iPhone 14 Max is tipped to cost $899, but the iPhone 14 Pro might hit $1,099 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max may see a similar increase, with it hitting $1,199. This relatively significant leap in launch price would certainly sting the wallet, so we hope it's not true. So as we use to the new iPhone won't look drastically different from the others, as we've been seeing this strategy for a long time, like 5 and 5S, and 6 and 6S, and 7 and 7S, also 8 and 8S, and X and XS, and 11 and 12, and iPhone 13, and now the iPhone 14. Actually, it would look the same, but if we take a closer look, we notice some subtle changes. These include a bigger camera unit, slimmer bezel, and a pill and haul on the front. Frankly, we notice small changes for the 14, but at the same time, we must admit that the iPhone is not going to change overnight, which can be difficult for both Apple and users. However, there are some significant changes in the latest version. iPhone is approaching perfection. This year they are nixing the notch that lasted from the X model. In favor of a pill plus hole design, the battery becomes much better. The screen is also great now, with excellent cameras. The upgrade is super, so those who are thinking of changing their phone, the answer is yes. It's worth upgrading to the 14th model. Are you excited about iPhone 14? Which one will you buy? Let us know in the comment. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.